I think it's a really important building block of the energy transition. I think what we did when we set up the whole process, we actually really focused on a great level of transparency. So the amount of information about projects, costs, um, you name it, I think is quite phenomenal and everyone in the industry is using it. It's actually an important feedback loop process as well for people to provide feedback and, and refine it and AMO and, and CSRO who work on some of those assumptions actually take that very seriously. So that gives that gives actually a shared knowledge base. I think then and the scenarios and the and the optimal pathway, they are all really important tools. But I think as we've just touched upon, I think it's then really important to also do a reality check and say sort of how are we tracking against that and what adjustments do we maybe need to make to some of the outputs as a result of reality. And I think what we also need to do, and I, I know AMO is thinking about this, is sort of taking non-financial and economic factors into account, like impact on communities, development lead times, risk exposure for developers, which then result into maybe longer development processes, uh, the impact of the planning process. So there, there's a lot of variables that by its very nature and initial design, it doesn't capture, And but that's okay. I think that's why we have brains as humans and, and we as a collective industry, we need to debate and discuss it and then try to find the right interventions for the energy system to help us navigate um, the transition in the best possible way.